so hi guys in this lecture i am talking about how to uh, create enum inside the c++ class and use inside the qml okay so let's uh, be create the enum class and use the enum inside the qml side okay so let's be create one uh, more uh, projects which is called the enum enum class so let's do this so here we create one project so let's create uh, one class okay so inherit from my q object and here i am putting the name enum class okay class uml so let's do this so what we need to create here first we need to create here the enum so enum and we put the name of that enum the info and here i am putting the q uh, debug debug and the uh, info and the uh, warning okay that's all and yeah sorry warning and uh, okay so i'm created for nm now let's register this uh, q nm q nm and here we put this info inside this and that's all and nums okay so we register this enums q info so what things we need to do we need to register that class so i am registering this class here to use qml register type so first we need to import the header file here so enum class header file qml so enum class in QML, okay. So enum, uh, enum class, okay. So I made the change like QML register type. So we register this QML register type, okay. Register type, type. So here I am putting the QML class template. Okay, now here we need to put four things one zero the major minor number and here the class name. Okay, so I'm putting the same inside this and this and now the error is gone. Yeah. So first what we need to do is after that we need to import that header file inside the main. So let's import this one point O. So I imported this. Let's we use this enum. So how to do I am creating the switch case. Okay. So function inside the function my function call. Okay. So inside this int index. So in JavaScript we cannot need to put uh, the types. So here I am creating the switch switch case so switch case inside the switch case we need to put the index and what we need to do now create the case so here that comes the role of enum class dot debug and what we need to do just do the break here break okay so inside this uh, i am putting to debug sorry console dot log console.log this this is a debug enum okay so let's do fast sorry let's do fast this is the debug and this is the, the info this is the warning warning and this is the uh, error so similarly this is the error enum this is the warning enum 
this is the n4 enum so we use this enum so what we need to do first we import the one more control so we use button for control i am importing this control now i am putting the one button in center current parent and inside the parent on clicked on click what happened this function we call and put as the index here so i am put the index one okay so text should be check enum okay let's see I run it yeah now it will work yeah this is will working look at here this is info and okay so let's put some like i'm putting the four so inside four we don't have anything so it will not fit fit thing so i'm here i'm putting three that it should be the error in four okay yeah this is error in four so that's all the enum how will register and will work so you can use in this time thank you guys bye bye see you in the next lecture